Capo status. Respectfully checking back in, Bronze Capo. Let's talk about it. Last night, previously on Discretion TV Late Night, we discovered that Orlando Anderson, not only that he was not in the fight with Pac and Suge and Death Row, but he was in a cut watching the whole thing laying low. Now, if you follow my channel, we already said there was no 13 on this dude's shirt. You can cap, you can yap, you can chat. You ain't never gonna see a 13 on this dude's shirt. So for years, and especially for the last two, three years, as I discovered this on my channel with y'all, 21 Salute, I said, where did Orlando go? It wasn't until last night I got fed up. And I said, you know what? I'm, I'm going live. I just came from court. I was fed up. And I found out that not only was this dude not Orlando, but the real Orlando was watching this whole fight. The real Orlando was watching this whole thing go down. Respectfully. So how did I find it? For years, watching Orlando walk through the MGM lobby, I used to say, yo, who stuck out like a sore thumb? Who standed out the most? And it was always, like I said last night, this blonde lady walking behind Orlando, very tall, blonde, dressed in all white. There is no way you couldn't notice her. Here she go, walks again. And until last night, we discovered that when this camera pans, you actually see people in a cut. You actually see people in a cut. And last night, we went to J Mix because they went to Vegas and did the whole Orlando breakdown. And we found out there was a cut in the wall behind the tree. Arch. Uh... They were doing, they had this boy named uh, Vincent Buchanan, who was v Dog. He got killed in Compton. Respectfully. Tortured, so let's make sense out of this. Everything happened at the same time. I don't know how this happened. Um, dropped off in I don't know how they timed the it. I, I really they don't were real know. tight with him. He was, you know, a real active, cool, fruit town fire route, though. Whether it was going to be a little, Buchanan. a few minutes off or on, Pyre so, walks through. Word is, with Big Frank, country let's run this watching back. the tape at his house. And I want to thank you for tapping in. I'm not going to with, make this too um, long. The torture of it going down. This is damn near, this is a recap Buntry of last house night. Been, and I'm not snitching. I'm trying to put it out there that been raided. It's Orlando all was watching the fight in the, the cut. FBI and they even been Orlando for Anderson for was this, planted there. The video tape. Orlando Anderson is really a passing. Okay. She was in prison when this incident happened. For years, people have been saying this. What it happened? Now, well, we just needed okay, more you know. proof. Now, Jay Mix, like I said, they went out there. They went out there, and I looked last night, and I discovered what wall, how deep is the gap, how much was he hiding in between the gaps, respectfully. And we found out there's a pretty huge sink within that wall where he could have laid low. It actually looked like he was with somebody else also. No cap. You see, Vegas, thanks to David Kenner, it gave it the David Kenner edit. Yeah, Jay Mix went and I did, you know, I, I calculated where would Orlando be. Jay Mix, they say kick, kick. And right there, that wall right here. Respectfully. I want to thank you for tapping in. I'm not going to make this too long. Respectfully. He was asking, where did Orlando go if that wasn't the real Orlando with no 13 on his shirt? 
And I apologize because I should have took more initiative. They go that word again. I should have took the initiative years ago to really look at this tape. Somebody paid for this to go down. And it's looking like, yo, not for nothing. It's really looking like Pac possibly knew about this. All the body doubles lookalikes. Can we stop the cap? Elena was right here in this cut. Let me zoom in respectfully. Yeah, you see people as soon as it as soon as it turns on the screen, you see somebody moving their arm. There were people right there watching this whole thing. Drop some comments below. You ain't gonna see this nowhere else, no other channel. And this is not cap. Remember, Suge said I knew where all the cameras was. Suge made a leak. There was a million dollars out for those death row for 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 Pac and Shook. Million dollars on their head. We learned last night Los Angeles was gonna violate Pac's probation. No, Los Angeles was gonna charge Pac for having registered firearms and catching a felony. They was gonna charge him for that. On top of his probation violation, on top of his appeal, here go LA want to take away his arms, his firearms, and then hit him with a charge or a couple of charges. Pac was out, man. That's too much. Listen, I'm out on bail and they dragging. It's going on two and a half years, damn near. By the time I go back to court, uh, a quarter of the year is gone. That I've been out on bail. So it's going to be like two years and change, right? Imagine that. Well, I can't imagine that. Times 100. The media, the press, no privacy. Pac was done, B. They was robbing him his money. You know, the robbery for the money. You got to go higher. You got to go higher. Jimmy Iovine says somebody from Congress made a stop at his office and said, hey, why don't you give these guys a salary like McDonald's? Why are you giving them so much bread? I think that's when it actually started because Suge had no complaints about bread. But if it's in his nature, key word, if it's in his nature to keep robbing all his artists and not being loyal to not even Pac, forget everybody else. Pac fans is like, yo, why you wasn't loyal to Pac? We trying to figure that out here on Discretion TV. Drop some comments below. If you just tapped in last night during my live premiere, we discovered that Orlando Anderson was in the cut watching the whole fight in a slot in a wall. And my question Coach, is, uh, they were doing, they had this boy named uh, Vincent Buchanan, who was the dog. Will we ever he get the whole truth? In Compton, tortured. It's been 27 off, years. Handcuffed. And we just finding out that uh, Orlando Anderson off in, on Central in front of the cemetery. They were real tight with him. He was, you know, real active. Cool. Was in the cut. Now my yeah. question is, Vincent Buchanan. So how truthful was Frank Alexander? The Buntry was watching the tape. At you understand his house how truthful was Frank with, Alexander? Um, the torture of it going down. That's what the word is. Buntry and them house have been Frank had to know that of, was you know, the house have been raided. It's I'm all sorry. court paperwork. Where the, the FBI and they after been twenty-seven for years for this, and this videotape. After going and we going on six okay. years on Discretion TV here. Still in prison. You can't well, tell me Frank happen. Alexander did not know that was know. not Orlando. Now that we see he was now, right, literally, okay, you know. he was literally like next to Orlando pulling Pac off. I'm gonna need y'all to drop some comments below. 
This was a major plan. This was a major strategy. Pac told Kadada and Kamala Jamala not to go downstairs in the lobby. Why would Pac invite those young ladies to Vegas and have them cooped up in a hotel room? What was the reinsurance about? I'm pretty sure Jamila knows. I'm, I'm pretty sure Jamila knows that Pac needed her to really stay upstairs because he had to do this. Yes, sir, we just tapping in. Orlando Anderson right up in here in the cut watching the whole fight. You see body movements. You see... You see, you could actually, if you look close enough, I saw the third team. There's a, on my TV, it's much more space for me to look at it. The megapixels in this, I can't really see on the phone. But when you watch this on a big screen, there's a glimpse of the 13 on his shirt, B. This is why he wasn't on camera. This is how they pulled it off. We were saying, yo, if he don't got no 13 on his shirt, they kicked off the 13, where did Orlando go? And I don't think a lot of YouTubers actually was tracing his steps. I was literally tracing his steps. And it just happened last night during my research. I discovered that he never walked past that tree. Is that fair to say? Orlando Anderson never walked past that tree. Remember, Tim Brandon, he slapped the whole Orlando Anderson theory on the table. And uh, you know what? If you find who sent Orlando, you find who put out the actual hit. Or you find out... If you find out who paid Orlando, right? Which is, everybody say Suge, you know? Okay, so let's just say Suge knew that that was a fake Orlando and the real Orlando was the difference. Can this whole thing be staged by Pac and Suge? From the MTV fight. If Reggie Jr. was extorting Suge, you think Suge give a fuck about a death row? Can we just make sense out of this? This is fresh narrative. Today's what? Wednesday, right? Wednesday the 2nd, right? August 2nd, Wednesday. Fresh narrative. Can we make sense out of this? Is it fair to say that Suge and Pac plotted this out? Reggie Jr. was extorting Suge, blackmailing Suge? Suge didn't care about no death row. Remember, when he came out of jail, he didn't care about death row. It was the row. He didn't really care about death row no more because I guess it was like a, a uphill battle. Y'all could drop some comments below. Shook ain't look like the type of dude that really cared about death row when he came home. Is it fair to say that maybe Shook and Pac plotted this whole thing with a rehearsal? <laughs> with a rehearsal? This is not their first merry-go-round in Vegas. Shook had the house in Vegas. Orlando knew exactly where to go. He didn't make no stops. He walked to he walked straight to that wall. He didn't make no stops. He didn't make no turns. Orlando Anderson walked straight to that wall. Is it fair to say maybe Pac and Shook plotted this out? Because it's like, okay. What are the odds? 
What are the odds this whole shooting? March. Uh, they were doing. They had this boy named Body him, Doubles. Vincent Buchanan, who was the. If you take it back to the Maxim Hotel, he got killed and shots Compton. rang out, hit a couple Tortured. of cars. We never saw those cars. Dropped off, handcuffed. Uh, but I'll tell you what we did see. Central in front of the cemetery. They we saw that BMW. Was, you know, a real active cool. Frank Alexander said by the time he cut the corner, he couldn't believe the tape was around that so, BMW so fast. Word is. Is it fair to say that Pac and Shook plotted this whole thing? Was watching the tape at his house. With, is it fair um, to say? The torture of it going down. That's what word is. Bunch of them house them Here's been, another theory. I'm not snitching because, you know, the house them been raided. It's all court paperwork. Where the, what the if Shug and been got hurt for looking for this, this video in the tape. fake scuffle? Okay. That gash on Shug's head. Shug's in prison. The when infamous gash, happen? right? 98, Is this a theory? Is this a question? What, it happened. what if Shug now word is, okay, you know, got hurt during that whole scuffle? And that's how the wound in his head happened. We trying to figure this out. And we going to get down to the bottom of this. You know, Jay Mix, you know, he told his fan base the wrong info. And he showed his fan base that death row after they jumped Orlando, they made an exit through one of the corridors. But he, he, he messed up. Capo status. Respectfully checking in and now checking out. We fan Orlando Anderson in the cut. We on their neck, respectfully. I ain't want to make this too long. Thank you for your tapping. Yeah, Orlando was right in this wall right here. 